Hey guys, welcome back to another Hypixel API tutorial video. Uh, once again, we're going to be uh, showcasing a different uh, endpoint of the Hypixel API. So today we're going to be looking at um, watchdog stats. So the basic code for that uh, is going to look like this, is what we're going to be using in this video as an example. So this looks very familiar if you've seen my other tutorial videos. Uh, for those who haven't, it's very simple code. You can look over it. Uh, we've got the basic JSON requests uh, to get our call, our get requests, and we're just pretty printing it out. Uh, we could use just normal print here, but pretty print um, just makes it look easier. To, uh, it makes it easier to read, uh, makes it more legible to the human eye. And so, once again, we've got our API key, and this time we've got a slightly modified URL, as always. So here we're going to be doing api.hypixel.net forward slash, and then it's watchdog stats for the watchdog stats endpoint that we're going to be looking at today. And there's one parameter that it takes in. So we're going to do question mark for parameters, and it's called key, and it's just your API key, which is always going to be um, present in every public API call to the Hypixel API because they require the key to, so that they can really limit you so you don't DDoS or API or anything. Um, now, if we look at this, we can run it real quick. Uh, let me pull up so you guys can see the command prompt. There we go. Uh, if we run this, just as always, it's going to be API underscore contact .py. We're going to run that. And so here we've got the sample output. Now, you'll notice that for this specific API endpoint, it's not put in a folder. It just, there's so few stats that they end up just putting them all together. As always, we've got our success. So this is true if we got a successful uh, get and post. Um, so we successfully sent our get request and they su successfully posted back to us. Um, so we got the, the call back. If this is false, generally there's a cause. Um, so there'll be another tag here called cause, all lowercase, and then we'll give like some string answer for why um, it wasn't uh, successful. So that's usually API limit, or invalid key, or invalid parameter, or something like that. And so if you're ever, as always, implementing this to actually use these stats in your script somewhere, um, for like a Discord bot or a website, you want to make sure that you're verifying success first to, before trying to contact any of these. Um, and then all these stats, uh, this is what it would look like. Um, before we go over the stats, I do want to go ahead and show you guys an example of what it will look if you want to just throw this into a browser. So if you want to just throw this in the browser, very simple. You're going to take your API key, throw it at the end of this. This is my API key, so replace this part with yours. And you're just going to do uh, just this. So essentially the exact same thing as we have in our code, but just throwing your own API key manually. Um, and I'm once again, in Firefox, I strongly suggest it because the automatic JSON filtering, if you're just looking at it normally, it's still somewhat legible, but a little more difficult to read compared to this, which has um, everything nicely lined up. Now, uh, we're going to go over the brief stats here. So, um, always the success. And then there's the uh, easiest one to understand, uh, I believe. There's watchdog last minutes. This is how many accounts have been watchdog banned in the last six seconds from when this call was made. This is very precise. It uses Unix timestamp that goes up to... Uh, one one thousandth of a second, so up to a millisecond. Now, obviously, there's some delay there between you and Hypixel and all that stuff, but generally, it's very accurate to how many accounts have been banned in the last minute. Next up, we're going to skip the rolling daily. I'll explain that last. We've got the watchdog total and staff total. So, watchdog total is how many accounts how many accounts have been banned in total by watchdog in the last um, 24 hours, or sorry, in the, since it started counting. Um, same thing as staff total, so how many accounts have been banned by staff um, in the past, uh, well, since they started counting, which I believe was when Watchdog came out, but don't quote me on that. Uh, it's essentially since this API came out. And then moving on to the rolling daily, this is the, this is the stat that a lot of people get confused about. Um, so there's a difference between rolling daily and then just daily. So generally, daily stats, and you'll see this even in some of the API endpoints, or if you've ever dealt with other APIs, daily generally means uh, uh, it resets at a specific time. So sometimes you have daily that, let's say, resets at 6 p.m. EST every day. Um, so if you do have a daily that works like that, well, at 
6 p.m., the number will go from whatever number it is, like 4,000 or something, and it'll immediately go down to zero, and then start counting back up again, and then the next day, at the same time, it'll go back to zero, and then count up again. Um, and then if you graph that out, you end up with like a, a spiky system, where it, it goes, 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 and then at the end of the day, it goes down to zero, because it resets. Rolling daily doesn't work like that. Rolling daily takes the exact 24 hours prior without resetting. So it doesn't reset. So let's say you make this API call at 7 p.m. EST on a Tuesday. Then it'll take all the stats that are time stamped from 7 p.m. EST on the Monday all the way to when that call was made. Okay, so a full 24 hours, and that's how this works. So there's the staff and watchdog version. So watchdog rolling daily is the past 24 hours, uh, how many accounts have been uh, watchdog banned. And then the staff rolling daily is how many accounts have been banned by staff in the past 24 hours. Now to go along with this, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the documentation here over on the, the GitHub for Hypixel development uh, on the public API. Um, and then this obviously will be in the description if you ever want to come back to it. If you just want to have a quick reminder and you don't want to go find this link or you don't want to pin it because um, there's a lot of endpoints, you can just go in the description, click this link and check it out if you want a quick refresher. Um, this is very simple. So there's a uh, basic description. So there's the endpoint name. So this is what you put after the forward slash or after the API to hyper and that forward slash part. Uh, you have a description, so it returns some stats about watchdog and bans, uh, also staff bans. You've got a list of all the parameters. Sometimes there's optional parameters, so keep that in mind. But for this example, uh, in this specific endpoint, there's only the one parameter, which is your API key. And then here we've got a quick description uh, or a brief description of all the, uh, the stats, right? So if you ever need to come back and sort of see, uh, you can go ahead and read this. Uh, anyways, that's all for this video. I hope if you guys uh, were ever interested in this endpoint, you may find this video useful. Um, anyways, as always, uh, feel free to like the video if you enjoyed the video, if it helped you in any way. Um, if there's a specific uh, question that you have regarding this endpoint, I have a lot of experience with it. Um, so you can go ahead and comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And then if you have any suggestions for if you want me to cover a specific part of the API that you're unfamiliar with and you're sort of struggling with, you can always do that. I'll definitely prioritize that section. And if you want to stay up to date with my tutorial videos, you can go ahead and subscribe uh, and even turn on the notification if you really feel like it. So you get the notification every time instead of just having to see it and you're recommended. Um, anyways, that's it. Hopefully it helped. And that's been Hypixel API Watchdog Stats Endpoint.